Hello and welcome to another video on abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss one function which has been released in April 2023 release of Power BI and the function is rank. We already have rank x function in Power BI and we would like to understand what's the difference between these two. Rank function is coming from the same category of function which has been released in December 2022 which include order by and partition by as the arguments which we can use here with the rank function. Now rank function will allow you to rank on the columns. Now typically rank x function when you create a column it asks for a column when you create a major rank it was asking for a major but that's not thing with the rank function you can actually work with the columns. So before we go into the uh, you know details of this function let's understand what this function has for us. So this rank function which is basically going to return the rank in the current co context with the specified partition store the specified order it match if a match cannot be found then rank is blank okay. Now what does what all arguments it takes so the rank function are going to take few arguments the first argument rank function is going to take is the ties which is nothing but your skip and dense skip is default okay. Then the relationship where we are going to give the tables or the table along with the majors. We are going to have all selected. We are going to have all. We are going to have uh, summarize all and all those add columns which you are going to have. The third argument is going to be order by which we are going to use. And the fourth argument can be blank which is basically um, going to be an optional argument and we are going to give keeps here. Typically right now this is the only one option. And the fourth of the last option is partition by. So you are going to give partition by here. So and partition by would be like let's say if I am using customer. So within customer I want to order something then partition by customer. So I have customer and date. So I want to partition by customer and then want to give order the dates the dates. And now this function is going to go order us order the columns for us inside the partitions or without even having a partition. Now till now in the major rank we have not ordered the columns. Now we are going to order the columns in the major rank. Rank X was not doing that for us. Rank function is going to do as and this is altogether a different function and it's going to have its own advantages so which you can compare by you know looking at you know how much uh, time it is going. So let's go back to the April release notes and then we're going to go to the Power BI and look at the function. Now here you can see the customer table we are using skip rank and desk dense rank skip rank means if there is a rank which actually repeats the next rank would be one higher rank but dense rank means if a rank repeats the next rank is still so one repeat twice then the skip would be three and dense would be two this is how dense rank and skip rank works now here do they have an example yes here you can see 41 41 and 43 in case of skip 41 41 and 42 in case of dense now there is one more function release row number which we are going to discuss in a separate video so let's jump out of the power bi and try to understand this function to understand this function again i'm going to use my common model the sales table model which you can get with the name of the file 80 git 80 small github on my github uh, which you might be aware otherwise you can get link in the description now this model contains a sales table which is joined with the date table on sales date which is joined with the um, which is joined with the item on item id joined with the customer on customer id and joined with geography on city id so now this is a perfect schema model i have already created few majors like net gross and etc which we continuously using in our various videos of abstract thesis series as well as the beginner tutorial series now to begin with let's first of all try to do something very similar with both the new and the old function can do so to do that let me bring in brand i am from the item dimension i am dragging brand here and leaving it out it's going to create a table visual and in this table visual i'll go and open my major uh, majors and the major table and then i'm going to bring in that now it may convert it into a another type of visual and I can change it. I'm using on object interaction which I enabled from the March version that's why I'm seeing it here. In case you are still on the older version you will see the visualization tab from where you can check it. If you are not aware from where to do that then in the files options and setting options you have an option under the preview feature for ob on object interactions 
which you can enable or disable depending on how you want it to have a look at your visuals. Now I have done with that. Let me take out the rank function. I think I already have a rank. Let's see, is it the same? So no, we have, don't have on it. So let's create a new rank function. So let me create a rank function and let's see. So I want to create a rank net. Okay, let me create a rank net. So I will call rank x and I here in rank x we first of all give a table name. So I'm going to give or the table name. I'm going to call it for only one column which is all and I'm going to use all selected so that filters which are there should be considered here rank x item brand. That's what I'm doing here. So rank x item brand is something which I'm trying to bring in and then the next thing which is the major which is the value here I'm going to bring in net here next thing is basically uh, empty and then we can have ascending and descending I'll say descending and then for tie I'm going to use dense function now this is my rank x and if I go here and if I bring rank net you will see this is my rank net now how do I achieve the same thing with the new rank function so let's look at the rank net new so here we are going to use rank and in the rank dance and skip is the first thing it is asking I'm going to use dance I already explained you the meaning of dance now relationship I say all selected same I'm going to use item brand now here one thing has happened now actually because I wanted to sort on the net actually I need to add the net so I'll say add columns and there I need to add the net to differentiate between my major and what I'm giving here I'm creating underscore net net now this is the difference here I'm giving in the relationship both the things should be there the major should be there the uh, group by or the partition by should also be there order by should also be there okay so now I need order by and in the order by I'm going to use net now I'm going to specify I'm not going to specify dense here right now because I would like to see why, why the why what is the order because by default it is in the rank X it is by default descending and in the typically these kind of function it, it was by default ascending so let us see is it ascending here or not I am assuming it's going to be ascending so but let's drag it in and see how it is it is ascending you might have realized this is coming 13 so it's ascending so in the this function this series of function which is basically windows offset index rank and row number we have to specify dense separately it's not like the rank x function where it is by default dense following the business intelligent culture of having dense as the by default sorting order it is following the way database it these functions works in database also where you have the windowing function where you use sum over and then you use order by and by default the order by is ascending so it's ascending here now you might have observed the difference between these two functions that this right now this, is, this seems like you know oh what's the difference I can use both of them but yes execution is going to be different the way these functions are going to be different so that is what you can go ahead and check it out under the uh, optimization uh, you can go to the performance analyzer and check how these two visuals are performing and based on that right now we have very small data so we might not be able to differentiate in those but just for your reference let me do one thing let me make these two visuals in the first visual I am going to go here and remove this one and in the second visual I am going to go here and remove this one so one has rank, rank net net one has rank net I should have called it net new but let me rename this new okay so now if we go here in the optimized performance analyzer and we say start recording and refresh visual you can see one of them is this is the visual which is taking 82 millisecond this is taking 142 if you look at the dex query both of them is taking 9 seconds and uh, display and others 40 second let's refresh the visuals once more and see check it out now when I click on this table again now see you can see there is no much much difference and this, this is the reason why because they are you know the really small data to make a difference out of it but most of the time you will see the second visual is winning in the race by having less small amount of time but right now the dex query is not taking we have to really take a really little bit bigger data to differentiate between that 
but we are going to do it for something really different thing so wait on that let's move forward uh, with this one but now you know the way how to check it check the performance okay now what i wanted here the next thing which i wanted here in this visual can i create a rank for the brand you will see brand numbers why do you need a rank let's say brand and then date dates is going to be very common now we are going to take a date example but before we do let's see can i create a rank x where i can have the rank on the brand so how do i have the rank on the brand in this case so i'll say rank x all selected item brand then i would like to have item brand here then i'll say descending or i can have ascending here in this time isn't it and dense and let me call it as brand rank okay so we are calling it as brand rank and let's press enter brand rank now it's saying single value column because this this was expecting a major so because this was expecting a major i have no option other than giving max brand here so i bring in the brand rank and you see because i have already all selected and i use the max brand i can't have it so that's why these things are not working now let's not go into the detail what are additional things we can do we can actually we don't need it actually we can have the um the cumulative number and that could also do job for us now in the new rank system rank brand new the new rank system is little bit different now i can say rank i can say dense i can say all selected item brand and here i can simply say order by item brand and then i right now i don't need partition by isn't it so i can come out and let me bring in into this visual the second visual where we are getting the new pages and now you can see i can sort it on the brand and you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so now you got a way where you can rank on the brand now we can have a combination now that's another opportunity which has come with us and now we are going to explore an example where we are going to take this rank new rank function now you know rank x can do the similar kind of job at few places so we are going to only focus on this new rank function and here for here to do that new rank function and this is you will find little bit easier than you know you could have done it in the rank function so what i am going to do here is from the customer table i'm bringing in name okay and from the sales table i'm going to bring in sales date now this is this will become little bit tricky if you try to do this with the rank x function now and this first thing is i actually wanted to rank on the date not on the net i'm going to bring in a net also but i want to rank on the sales date and i a good thing is that it's already sorted on the customer so i don't have to do much of the work now there are two things which is possible here one is i may like to have a rank which is on the date second i may like to have a rank which is on i'm changing the order because it has disturbed it so and i would like to sort on the name first and definitely we can shift and click on this date to get the date now i would like to have this you know the this one uh, the new rank function and let's start again so new major and again let's start now this time we are going to have little bit of difference so we are going to have rank so we are going to say rank function the first argument is the ties which is basically nothing but dense you can see here so so dense then second is going to be the relationship where we are going to now i am going to say all now i can't use simply all selected so what i am going to do is, is summarize all selected sales comma customer name comma sales 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 date i'm going to do that and now because for the first thing i only need to order by the sales date i can use the order by and i have the sales 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 date 
fine so how do you look at this function so we have the first argument dense then we have the relation which is basically we have given these two one and then we have the order by and the fourth one is partition which we are not using right now okay so now these things we have given and let's call it as rank date cust dates inside the customer and ascending order definitely this is right now ascending so let's look where is it has been created now why the ranks are not wrong because we have ranked it across now we have to use partition by here and which is which we have i have avoided and now we you know that if you want to do rank rank inside the customer we need partition by so now i'm going to add the partition by i just wanted to show you how did this going to work and now you can see 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 and now they are all the, because we already order the uh, dates in the same order so that's why you know you see 1 2 3 1 2 then 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 and all those okay so this way i can do and this i can not do you in rank x because i can't order on the sales date i can't order on the dates and this is what you are demanding for quite some time now what happens if i want to order the net so i need to do take the same thing here and i am going to create a new major here and in this new major what i am going to do is then all selected sales customer sales date now i need to add a major here also so in my summarize i have the all selected sales customer name sales sales date which is all my group by and then i need a major also so in that major i am going to use net so i now my summarize contains what do it contain two group by column and it is already cust so cust net we need to know okay so now let's bring it now still it is not going to be same unless i go ahead and change my order by and when i say this is going to be underscore one now i name the column as underscore and i want a descending so definitely i want the highest data to be there when i do the number sort and you can you will be seeing that this is going to be little bit different now you can see here once i have done that this is number 1 this is number 200 and this is number 3 same way this is number 1 because this is the highest value this is the second highest value uh, and then you have this one which are six set of values so you see the first one is 224 second one is 156 third one is 102 fourth one is 97 and the fifth one is 92 and the sixth one is 42 so now you can see or you can actually sort inside the customer now if you need that what you can do is with the shift first let me click on the net name and then i'll click with the shift i'll click on the net it's already descending if you might have seen it so oh i forgot to click on the shift okay so it's already descending now and now it is actually started showing the descending so you can see 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 now date ranks are moved around so now this is one place where you you can actually you know have your rank created now this is all together different i already tested out if i need the prior rank and all those i think in that term offset and index function can work better if you wanted to do that don't try to use it for comparison in the terms of comparison i already checked it out offset function and the index function can do a better job than this one so always try those functions here don't try to you know move around the rank what is rank one rank two but yes definitely you can use it like i know first two rank sum or last two rank sum by ascending and descending order you can do that that's where it is going to come to really handy so that is the place where you can use it so go ahead and try this new function out and do let me know what else you wanted me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you